I'm Karina Dollinger with Integrity Mortgage in Winchester. Hi, and I'm Jan Copeland of the Jan and Dan team at Remax in Winchester, and we are your real estate girls around town. This week, we're going to do our first of a two-part series on home buying. We hope you enjoy it. So, when you're thinking about buying a home, the first thing people usually do is reach out and research realtors. And so, when you meet with me as your realtor, the first thing I do is talk about getting a pre-qualification so that you know exactly how much home you can afford. And so to go house hunting without knowing what you're pre-approved to buy is like going to you know, shop without any money or credit cards in your wallet. Um, so Karina, why don't you tell us about the process of getting pre-qualified? Sure. When you get pre-qualified, there are many ways we can do it. You can do an online application, uh, we can do it over the phone, or you can come in and we can meet in person. I just get some of your pertinent information, like uh, your name, social, date of birth. We go over income and asset information. I will pull your credit. And then we talk about your comfort level as far as monthly payment goes to see um, where you're best suited as far as price goes and also to see which loan program would work best for and you. And what's the next step after the clients get a pre-qualification letter? Okay, the next step um, after the pre-qual is now you know what you can afford and or what you're willing to spend. And so in addition to the budget, then I ask you questions as we sit down in the interview process, such as what style of home are you interested in? Townhouse, condo, single family, and let's say it's a single family. Are you interested in a ranch style home or a split foyer or a colonial? Once we decide, once you decide what style of home, then we talk about your needs versus your wants. For example, you would like to have four bedrooms, but three bedrooms plus would do it for you. And or you'd like to have two full bathrooms, but you'd also like to have a powder room. So we separate the needs from the wants. And then I go into the MLS with you and I pull up all of the active listings that meet your criteria. And even if your budget is a million dollars, you're never going to get 100% of everything you want. So purchasing a home is um, a really balancing act of priorities. What is most important? Do you have two dogs and so you cannot even fathom looking at a house without a fenced in backyard? Or is the more important um, thing for you that you must have a finished basement because you work from home? These kinds of things we talk through and then I will show you all the active listings that meet your criteria and then you tell me how many homes you want us to go see and then we have fun going to see some homes. That wraps up our first part of our home buying series and we'll see you next week for part two. Thanks for tuning in to Real Estate Girls Around Town. See you next week.